Good afternoon, East Texas. I'm Melissa McTee, and this is your TylerPaper.com afternoon news update. A gunman unleashed a barrage of gunfire at two military facilities a few miles apart in Chattanooga on Thursday, killing at least four Marines, officials have said. The gunman was also killed. Today is a nightmare for the city of Chattanooga. Around 11 o'clock this morning, we had someone uh, viciously attack at two different locations, people who proudly serve our country. We do know that we have four individuals um, who were killed, um, who are victims. We know that the uh, shooter was killed at the scene as well. Also, one um, Chattanooga police officer uh, was shot in the ankle and has been treated uh, very well at Erlanger, as well as um, there were some other individuals who were shot and have also been treated. This is a sad day for the United States. These service members serve their country with pride and they have been the victims of these shootings. We are conducting this as a, an act of domestic terrorism. Well, I had gotten a call about five minutes after the shooting had taken place and I just understood that someone drove by shot uh, all through the windows of all the recruiting offices. So we went inside and the place was like something on TV. Furniture shot up, TVs, walls, bullet holes all in them. It's just unbelievable. I mean, you know, you hear about these things happening in bigger cities, New York or someplace like that, and then all of a sudden it hits home. And, uh... Just in the past few minutes, we have learned from the Associated Press that the shooter is being identified as a man who lived in Tennessee, but is to believe to have been born in Kuwait. It is not clear whether he is a U.S. or a Kuwaiti citizen. This afternoon's featured focus in on Dot Me Photo Gallery was taken by our Travis Tapley at the Cooking A Way of Life class. All of the photos are available now for purchase. Visit Focus In on Dot Me by clicking the photos link at the top of any TylerPaper.com page. Thanks for watching and check back in for more news updates throughout the afternoon.